Hello, I'm Carolyn Herbert from the Finance News Network and joining me from medicinal cannabis provider Cresso Pharma to talk about its latest licensing agreement is CEO Dr. Mary Halperin Vernley. Mary, welcome back. Thank you. Now, can you start by telling us about your agreement with DeMarco? The agreement is for the development, the manufacturing and the commercialization of two new second-generation cannabinoid-rich nutraceutical products for human health using fast-acting, buccally absorbed delivery technologies, which complement our first-generation product in development. The agreement also includes the development of new animal health nutraceutical products for companion animals with an innovative delivery technology. And Creso will retain the full ownership and IP rights of all the developed products. So who is Domaco? Domaco is a traditional Swiss uh, high-tech food and pharma company, and they are in business since 1922. It is a leading European producer of innovative products, both for the global pharmaceutical and global food companies, such as Blackmores, which you know from Australia, Bayer, Danone, Angelini, and others. And also they are what is called own label manufacturer, which is specializing in buccal delivery technologies. So Mary, what end products are most likely to make it to market and when? The new second-generation cannabinoid-rich nutraceutical products that we are developing for anxiety and stress with this new delivery technology is planned to be launched first quarter 2018. And the first-generation nutraceutical product for osteoporosis and osteoarthritis in first quarter 2019. And the two New animal health products for companion animals are expected to be launched in first quarter 2018. These products will complement the first generation products that we have both for human and animal. As you remember, the first generation human nutraceutical is now in pilot production phase and in regulatory filing. And we also received EU approval for the first two animal health products just about a month ago in in January, and we will launch them in July. So which markets are being targeted and who is assisting you? The commercialization will be in collaboration with commercial partners, targeting first Switzerland, then key European countries, Latin America, and of course, Australia. And finally, Mary, are other agreements something shareholders can look forward to hearing about over the course of the year? We are starting the pilot production of the first human health nutraceutical product and we are working on the regulatory filing. So the major effort will be put now on identifying the best commercialization partners in Switzerland, in Europe, Latin America and in Australia. And there is big interest. And in the course of the year, in parallel to the development of this new product, we will build the commercial network and maximize our geographical reach, both for the human and the animal health products. Dr. Mary Halper and Vernley, congratulations and thanks for the update. Thank you very much.